In this short video, we will learn how to set an advanced trigger on the Beagle USB 5000 V2 Super Speed Protocol Analyzer. Advanced triggers on the Beagle USB 5000 allow users to create complex match conditions to trigger a capture or trigger an output signal. Matches consist up to eight states and six matches per state. Now let's see this feature in action by creating a double match condition using a USB mouse. Let's start the Beagle 5000 real-time capture. Now we'll plug in our USB mouse and see traffic right away. See the data change as I move the mouse? As I click the left button, we see the USB command for a left button click in real time. This is labeled BTNS equals one. As I click the right button, we see the USB command for a right button click. Let's make note of these. This is labeled BTNS2. Here we can see the command for left button is 01. Here we can see the command for right button is 02. Now let's stop the capture and summarize what we've just seen. Each time a left click occurs, we see a data pattern beginning in 01 while each time we right-click, we see a data pattern beginning in 02. Now let's set the trigger to match on these button-click commands to demonstrate how you can start a capture when the desired packets appear. Here we bring up the Device Settings menu. Now click Additional Settings. In the USB 2.0 Matching tab, we will select Complex Matching. First, we will enable this feature. Now we'll set the first match slash action condition for state number one, and we will select data match. We will match on a packet for a specific packet data pattern. Now we can enter in the pattern to match in hex. For a left mouse click, the pattern is zero one. We will match on any packet with this PID and pattern. The selected action will be to go to state two. Now let's set a second pattern match in state 2. Select data match again. We will set the packet data pattern again, but this time to 02. We will match on any packet with this PID and pattern. This time our action will be to trigger an external output, DIG out 1. Then we will go back to state number 1, the first pattern match. To review, we have set a match condition to match on the left mouse click followed by a right mouse click. The action is to send a trigger signal to out one when this happens. We have also set a loop to send this trigger out each time we do a left and right click. Here is our digital I.O. for USB 2.0 matching. The trigger signal will come out out one. In order to see the trigger signal, let's send it back into the Beagle 5000 on an input channel, IN1. Now we are routing the signal back into the Beagle, which will be able to show us in the transaction log when that trigger happens. Now let's select Simple under 2.0 Matching. This is where we can configure the digital inputs. Let's set Input 1 to Monitor. Now we'll click OK and OK again. Let's start the capture again. Now let's click Left button. We see the command in real time. Now the right button, we see the digital input marker signaling that it saw the trigger signal, which was generated from our double pattern match. In this demonstration, we saw how easy it is to set up multiple state and pattern matching. We've also seen how easy it is to send a trigger signal out after meeting a match condition and how we can use the Beagle 5000 to monitor external signals. In the next video, we'll go through the same basic process, but instead of sending out a trigger marker, we'll show you how you can start the trace and capture the events leading up to the trigger. For more information, please visit us at www.totalphase.com.